be building out a resume builder app today. Um, it's going to look pretty good, I think. Um, I didn't design it. Uh, it was designed by Alyssa X on Twitter. She's very talented X on Twitter. Designer. She's very talented. <coughs> um, and yeah, here it is. This is what I'm going to be building. Let me join Chatty so I can see he's chatting. Um, okay, so and we're starting from scratch, <laughs> uh, which should be interesting. So I think we'll just put it into a new folder for for right now. And we'll load that up here. And, um, oh, there's one more place I should post this. Hey, the Shah, the Shah, well, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for stopping, stopping over. Um, I'm working, I'm building like a resume builder today. Uh, what are you, um, what are you working on today? Um, the Shah, is that how you say your name? The the Shah. <laughs> um, okay. Sure I'm starting. Okay. <laughs> we'll send it anyways. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Just Shah is cool. Okay, cool. Um. So yeah, so yeah, what do you, you're a member of MakerLog, so you're probably working on something, right? What are you working on? You're working on client work most of the day. Uh, yeah, me too, actually. This next two hours is for me, but after that, I'm working on client work as well. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Hi, and new space, David? Hey Andrew, how's it going? Uh, yeah, kind of a new space. I've been pushed back into my room <laughs> because my wife is also working from home now. You're working on a community platform for local deliveries in Northern Ireland. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah, let's check that out. Uh, Andrew, it's been, it's been a little while. How are you doing? Oh, nice. This is nice. Oh, I like this design. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little crowded, uh, to be honest. I know. I got to uh, clean up. <laughs> but too busy working on Remake, you know? Um, okay, I will sign up. Uh, I, I don't know if you care, but um, tiny piece of advice. I would pop this up, like, after at least 20 seconds. Um just because it takes up so much of the screen and I can't, I want to like see what you're doing first before I sign up. Um, but no, I like this design. This is cool. This is like a different type of design than I'm used to, you know, but it's uh, it's unique. It's nice. Oh, and all emojis up here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is especially ne necessary right now, huh? The uh, all the coronavirus stuff. This is really really nice. I like this. I guess um. Ratings would be nice. Maybe some way. Some way to tell what these are before I click on them. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really cool site. Feel free to post your um, your stream too, uh, and maybe um, me or someone else in the in the chat will check it out tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so Andrew says I'm fine. DW. I don't know what that means. Da -da -da. I don't know what that means. Do doing well? Oh, you're fine doing well? Oh, don't worry. Okay. 
I've been quite busy with some stuff lately. Been working on making your own uh, NAS via external hard drive and a Raspberry Pi. Um, oh yeah, sure, that would be awesome. Thank you, uh, Shah. Um, that automatically syncs with my, your next cloud server somewhere in Amsterdam. And after two days, you finally got it to work and sync. You had to do so much manual work <laughs> that you convert it into uh, scripts. Yeah, that sounds complex. Uh, what's chatty? Chatty is the thing that pops these messages up for me. It like connects to Twitch chat. Um, it's a, a Java application. Um, it's the only way I could find like uh, on Mac a way to like pop up chat messages. Um, I think it's easier to do on Windows. There's like a lot more streaming tools on Windows. Um, okay, so for the next two hours, um, yeah, it is. It's very nice. Um, it's like it hasn't failed me yet, whereas pretty much. Uh, that's like an ex that's like a high praise for a um, uh, for a software tool. Um, okay, so I need to find the final versions of these. I think they're these ones over here in the corner. Um, I think these are work in progress. What are you, what are you resuming? Like you're resuming a project? <laughs> no, actually, I'm uh, I'm working on a resume builder. Um, yeah, but I am I did like start working on this before a little bit, so I am kind of resuming building a resume builder. <laughs> it's more like <laughs> looks more like resuming. Um, yeah, so. Um, this, this I had designed by someone else. Oh, and she used the same Figma uh, board as she used for the Trello clone. So you can see like the remake Trello clone, like early versions of it. If you go to like remaketheweb.com, this is the, the, the design that's there. And she actually built that up too. But for this resume builder, I got to build it out um because she's busy so i'm just trying to like figure out <laughs> which the final designs were i think they're these ones over here so i think this is, i think she like was nice and put them over there resume resume <laughs> uh dota 2 attitude i love i like i love your name uh although i think it kind of probably means that you're a little toxic because i know the dota 2 community because uh, I uh, I have been and am addicted to Dota 2 for the past like 12 years. <laughs> That's exactly the type of response I would expect from a... Oh, you know I like Dota. Oh, how do you know that? Are you... Wait, wait, are you... Uh... No, who are you? <laughs> Don't assume it makes an ass out of you and me. Well, no, his name or his or her name is Dota Two Attitude. <laughs> Why would you put that as your name, unless you wanted people to think you might be a little toxic? I mean, I don't really know anything else associated with Dota Two. They're not known for being nice, you know. Like, <laughs> um, I guess uh, you could you could be trying to convey that you're a tryhard. Um, although. I think a lot of Dota 2 people aren't known for being tryhard, so who knows. Um, but no, I appreciate you joining the stream. They aren't nice. I should change the name. No, no, you're good. I think it's I think it's fun. Uh, you're good. What? So how do you know? What's that new farming game? Uh, new farming game? Oh. The, the one on the Switch? Is that what you're talking about? What is that called? Everyone's talking about it right now. I can't believe I remember, can't remember what it's called. Uh, what is it called? Ooh, I don't know. The only farming game I play is Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this... 
Uh, looks good. Boom. That looks good. And then this. And then this. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Okay. So I think these are the final designs. So this is going to be a decent amount of work, but not too too bad. I did figure out the name correctly, though. Most people think I really like Dota. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, people think... Oh, got it. So wait, how do you know that I like Dota? How do, how would you know that? Yeah, Stardew Valley is excellent. Um, I highly recommend it. It's just like a fun way to pass the time. Um, and there's no like super goals, so there's no like pressure, you know? Like you can have goals, but they're like self-directed. <laughs> you didn't know what you're trying to say? Um, okay, so I think we should start with the meat of this. I think we should start with just building up this interface. Oh, nice. Same uh, keyboard shortcut as Sketch. That's a plus for Figma. I don't know, I might have to switch over to Figma eventually. Because, uh... Everyone's using it. It's easier to share. I mean, if it's, it's, if it's as easy to use as Sketch, then why not, right? If you're jealous of Amy Lee, Google, and Microsoft, <clears throat> yeah. Why, why is that? Why are you jealous of them? I'm curious. OK. So <laughs> yeah. Yep, she's, she seems corporate, but I don't think this is a real person. I think this is a made-up person, or at least I hope it is. <laughs> um, no, the designer, I think, just put in, like, a stock photo and, uh, you know, two, two companies or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Sketch, too. I use Sketch pretty much every day. Um, okay, so let's... Um, Let's see, so we're gonna open up Sublime. We have no files in our resume builder. So we're creating something completely from scratch. <laughs> um, we'll have a main, oops, a main.css. And we're gonna paste our HTML from this. And we're good to go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the F and Figma is for free. Yeah, they kind of have... Uh... <laughs> um, so, let's see. What a world. We're going to do Resume Builder as the title because we don't actually have a name for this app yet. Um, and we're going to just open this up just as like a static index file. Okay, so this is our beautiful app. It's gonna start looking more like something very soon. Let's see, um, actually, okay, so these other pages have different backgrounds. Um, how can I get the color of this background? So select this. Ooh, nice, okay. Yeah, I kinda like this so far. Um, so body, should we have a class on the body? I guess we, like based on the page. That kind of makes sense, right? So I'll have like class, uh, page, and this will be like resume. And then we can say uh, page resume, and we'll do our background color. Oops. Get our clipboard back. 
Okay, there we go. Um, wait a second, that's how I'm in trouble. Uh, almost Ben. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, sure. Sure, we'll make it Ben, why not? Um, okay. <coughs> Um, so we're gonna, let's see, refresh this. Okay, we got the background color going. Okay, so now we need a max width on this, 1248. Oh, and we'll also wanna probably add some padding around the body. Adding padding, padding around the body is nice because it makes it mobile responsive while also giving a little bit of room around the sides. Although for this, actually, let's see, what do you guys think, on mobile, we want this like experience thing to to hit the edge, or do we want it to have like a little space? I think we actually probably want it to hit the edge, but we can do we can use make negative margin for that. So let's still add the padding. Um, I like 1.5 rem. I like doing all like the spacing stuff in rem. And then. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll go to, we'll go to the edge for those, but I think the ones above it uh so like here, yeah, this will be about 1.5 rem between here. And then it'll line up with this and so we'll have internally we'll have like a 1.5 padding here. Mobile first, am I right? Nope, you're <laughs> you're wrong. REM is a relative, you know what, I don't know what it stands for. All I know is that it's, um, uh, so like, a. Oof. it's, um, it's, it's not complete BS. Yes. So REM is, is like a unit of measurement that's based on the font. Uh, it's just like M, like M is, um, is like the, the size of the of the of the font, right? So, like, if you're using a 16 pixels like uh, font in like a certain element, then if you want to like move that element uh, to the left by you know 16 pixels, yeah. So rem it's the same thing, but it's just relative to the um, the base uh, font size. So like it's the body font size instead of um, the current element's font size. So it's going to be the same no matter where you use it on the page. And it's just nice because it, it allows you to create like a nice vertical margin or like nice spacing. Oh, RAM isn't, <laughs> yes, RAM is cool. And what I said about needing master's degree for the most basic job. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think that's true though. I mean, I don't have a master's degree and I, I think I have a kind of a good job. Um, okay, so we're gonna have a container here um, and I guess we'll just call it container. Um, what, uh, what video games are you guys into? I guess we'll have a profile. This will be like the profile at the top. Although maybe this is all the resume and then we have like resume profile at the top. It kind of sounds good, right? So let's just, um, I guess we'll like make all of our HTML before we do the uh, CSS, and then we can just copy it over. Um, yeah, and so we'll do resume instead of container. Although, will that make sense? Because this page, no, this page is different. So this is fine for the resume. Okay. So we'll have resume. Crazy cynical. Welcome to the chat. How's it going? <laughs> Ain't got no time for video games. Uh, you're a football manager addict. Don't judge me on that, but I guess it was my fruit in understanding data. Oh, that's cool. No, I think um, all games are cool. I don't know what football manager is, though. Uh, I think, well, I think that's true, Andrew. I think that's true everywhere. Um, but I think you just got to find a different company that respects talent. Uh, instead of degrees. I like I get asked where like if I have a degree every job interview I go to but uh, I just tell them like I don't have a degree but I have a bunch of experience. Yep definitely. 
Oh, it's a soccer management sim. Okay, I thought it was a football <laughs> manager sim. Because I'm an American. Uh, no, but that's cool. Okay, football, soccer, yep. Got it. Not many IT companies near me. So what is, I want to I want to learn more about this soccer management thing. That sounds cool. What do you do? Sorry, you're from Northern Ireland. No, you're good. Okay, so we'll have resume. Then we're going to have, I don't know how this is going to be responsive. I guess, yeah, we'll just leave it how it is, right? Yeah, we'll just leave it how it is. That's nice. I think the designer thought about the responsiveness. Okay, so we'll do, sorry, my like typing is slightly worse. Not that I'm like that much better than this usually, um, but I got a new keyboard and it's awful and tiny. Games you play, GTA 5 role play. Okay, that's cool. Football is always soccer. Oh, well, that's not true. I mean, you you gotta like go on Reddit. Reddit is like completely Americans. <laughs> There's like Americans and then like a few like Australians and British people pretending to be Americans <laughs> on Reddit. I don't know, that might not be true. Um, okay, so we'll say profile image. Uh, we'll do we'll do media query soon. Um, but we, we do mobile afterwards. We do desktop <laughs> first. Because I have a desktop design. What am I going to do? Design mobile first with a desktop design? That's crazy. Um, okay, so profile, we're going to have a profile name. Uh, then we're going to have, like, contact. Then we're going to have description, I guess. Yeah. Then should we shorten that? No, we won't shorten it. We'll just do the full thing. Oh, yeah. Reddit's pretty cool. I have, like, a lot of subreddits. Um, without subreddits, Reddit wouldn't be that good. But it would be just basically like Twitter. Uh, which actually, I don't know. I don't want to shit on Twitter. Twitter's pretty good too. But um, no, subreddits are, are awesome. So you can just like find anything. Anything you're interested in. It's like Reddit has something for that. Okay, so we're going to do a section here. we got a resume section. So you're saying when I code for mobile, I should do it on my phone? Um, I don't recall saying that. Did I say that? Um, okay, so we're going to have resume section uh, title. Sure, title. And we're just making these all divs for now. These aren't going to be divs in the final. But I don't really get people that have things against divs. Divs are great. <laughs> um, so these are sections. These are subsections and how are we going to set these again so we have these two things full width half width okay that's fine type of layout boom 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 that looks that's good okay okay i get it i get it now we're talking bam yeah we're doing we, <laughs> well we were doing them before kind of uh just sometimes it's not necessary to be like super strict about it. Um, but yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Okay, so section uh, title. And then this one, I don't know what to call this. I guess this is going to have to be the same for each of them. <clears throat> so I guess like area. Area or subsection? What do you guys think? It's gonna. It's like a block of stuff. I don't know why this is connected to this. That's weird. I'll ungroup those. Figma's a pretty nice tool though. So this area. Why can't I click into it? Oh, it's all grouped. So like this. This will be. Okay. Have fun at lunch. See ya. Okay, so we're gonna. I think this is gonna be an area. No, there's gonna be a oof, section area. Okay, that that sounds good to me. So we got an area, and then we've got a possible image here. Area image. 
and then we got the so we um this ah, you know what this is called this is called something when you have an it's a media object but i don't think all of these are going to be media objects so whatever um so let's call this uh it's going to be right aligned we'll call it like media text i think section area and we can just call it text that's fine um or we'll call it info because we might you know who knows we might have like some icons in here or something that are really accurate i guess so now we're going to have uh we'll have like the title and the like title info i guess or something okay so this is going to be info <laughs> this is getting insane uh, section area info <laughs> title <laughs> oh no I'm going down a rabbit hole so this is gonna be yeah this is crazy I don't like how how nested this is getting um, section area this is fine up until here Uh, actually, it's kind of okay. I don't know. I'm gonna just go with it. We'll have okay. So we'll have title, and then in here, we, I guess we're gonna have like title. Um, so these are probably gonna be spans. So this is gonna be title, main, and title supplemental. <laughs> That's a weird. Um, I don't know what to call it. Like, uh, oof. Not quite sure. Zombie foo, welcome to the chat. Um, okay, I'm missing fonts. That's okay. So. So I think this this will be title main. Hey, um, where are you coming from? How'd you find out about this uh, stream? And are you working on anything today, or just uh, hanging out? We are curious, curious to know. So I think we'll have title main and title meta. Sure. Right? I don't know. <laughs> this just doesn't seem great for meta. How about meta? How about title details? That's fine. Title main and title title details. Just hanging out. Can't remember where you found uh, my stream, but you're always up for a good coding stream. Awesome. That's a lot as you like to hear. Uh, that's great. Um, well, welcome to the stream, um, and I hope uh, you have a good time. Um, where are you? Uh, where are you chatting from? Oh, and if anyone wants to at, at some point like do a chat in the Discord, like on on stream, let me know. We could do that too. Maryland, that's awesome. Um, I went to school down in Maryland. That's cool. Okay, so we'll have. Let's see. This is info section area info so we have info text I think yeah so we have got title and text okay and then the last section the last thing inside of the resume section is gonna be a button and that's gonna be after this area oops commander root welcome to the chat welcome back um how is life going how's life going commander root i i believe i knew your name at one time commander root but i actually i, I forgot it i'm sorry 
Um, so we're going to have, uh, let's see, section, resume section, uh, button. And this is going to be a button for adding an area. That's fine. That's some good BEM, I think. Okay. Um, so now we've got most of what we need, I think. Oh, no, we got this settings button in the top right and this little menu. We're not going to worry about the menu yet, but we will handle the settings button. And I think we'll put it at the top. So let's do another button. And we'll do resume section button. Um, and we'll do like settings. Okay, cool. So now here's the fun part. <laughs> well, what are these? Oh, those are my buttons. <laughs> okay, great. So um, let's grab all of our classes from this page. Um, we don't really need the page class, but uh, that's okay if we end up getting it. So we'll select all of these all the way down to here, select the end of the line, paste these in here. Okay, I, time to see. I like that. It's a good challenge. Okay, so we will delete all of these classes. We'll grab all of these end quotes. Delete to the end of the line. We'll make these uh, proper um, C, uh, CSS selectors. Move this up to the other button. And then we will have all of our uh, CSS classes that we want. Very nice. Okay, so I hope you're not eating too fast. Um, so we want to max width on on uh, the resume. And I believe, you know, I'm not sure actually exactly what the max width should be. I think it should be this? No, that's not, it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if I set a max width on something and then I set negative margin, will it go beyond the, uh, <laughs> will it go beyond the max width? That's a, uh, I think it will. So let's, uh, 1248. So we're going to do 12, 1248. Um, and we're going to minus our 1.5 rem, which is, uh, what is 1.5 rem on either side? So it's 16, 24 times 2, 48. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have a max width of 1,200 on our resume. And so that should take care of this section. Then the profile. Well, let's add some content in here. So we're going to have... Let's get like a random profile image. A uh, random profile image. Photos, okay. We'll go for this person and we're gonna save this image into our resume builder. And we're just gonna say profile image, okay. And I think we're just going to probably try to use an image here instead of a div. We might have to wrap it in a div. I don't know. Eventually. Um, I think we might actually. Oh, and I almost forgot. We probably, we probably want like a CSS reset. Um, So I like this guy. This guy is a, a CSS guru, I guess. 
Uh, get low, get low. <laughs> okay. Everyone get low, you heard them. Um, okay, so we're gonna do... I'm gonna look at his GitHub. He's the creator of Bulma. We're not gonna use Bulma here, but he does have another thing. He has a what you see is what you get CSS, which is kind of cool. But he has this mini reset, which I like. Um, and the, the thing is, we're probably not even gonna use this, but I'll just use it as inspiration. So we'll put that at the top. Okay, so he resets all of these things. So he's not resetting everything. That's kind of smart to not reset everything because you don't want to like really... He probably knows CSS. <laughs> yeah, probably. Font size 100%. So he resets all these guys. I like that. The style type none. Or the style none. Oh, he's just removing all the styles, huh? No margin on button. Input select text area. This is important. Yep. Block sizing is like the top. I'm going to just move that to the top because I definitely don't want to get rid of that. Oh man, you're off lunch. Okay. See you next time. Have a good, uh, good, uh, morning. Okay. Iframe. We're definitely not going to use iframes. Max width. Huh. Well, we're not going to use tables here either, so we can delete that. Um, it's from the creator of Bulma. It's called Mini Reset. I will link you to the repository. Um, yeah, we're not going to use tables, so we don't need this. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know about this image video thing. I think we want a width on these by default so that they're responsive. I think we want a width of 100%. I think that's what some other libraries do. UL, I like the reset on the UL. I like the reset on these. This looks good. And I guess this looks good. You know, I usually just do like a a star margin zero padding zero but like this is nicer this is like more exact so I appreciate that okay so let's leave that uh, oh and we can actually we'll leave this in because uh, yeah we just took a strong inspiration from it um, okay so uh, body, yeah, we'll just reset, we'll do our own global styles down here. Global styles. And we want a button reset. So this is one of like the first things I always need to do is just reset buttons. I think I actually might have a code for it. No, I didn't save it. Okay, so we're going to do a reset button CSS. And I usually just go to this one, even though it's written in uh, some other format. I think it's SCSS or something. Well, that's okay. So we'll just reset our buttons. Uh, we don't really need these comments. Oh, you know what? I always forget font smoothing too. It's probably a good thing to add to the default style sheet. Okay, so we'll do a button here too. Um, and why don't we uppercase this? Spending a lot of time on this kind of just like whatever stuff, right? <laughs> but it'll pay off when we start moving faster soon. Okay. So we got our button reset. There is, I think, so we got our mini reset. We got our global button, but okay, yeah. We want a font, uh, 
font smoothing um, CSS, but we also want a uh, what is it called? System, system font family font stack. Sure. So this makes your font look really, really nice without importing anything. <coughs> um, I like CSS tricks, but I actually am not sure if they have the best one. I saw an article posted recently. Might have been referring to this website. Um, I feel like people are still trying to figure out this, but we'll just take this. You find that CSS is a write-only language. Do you have tips for keeping this stuff more maintainable? Yes, absolutely. So BEM is essential. Um, BEM is absolutely essential. It's, a, it's the biggest thing that will make the biggest difference. Um, so BEM, CSS, uh, and you can go to their introduction. Um, but basically, <coughs> you're going to namespace all of your um, all of your elements. So like I can show you like what I'm doing here. <coughs> So I have this resume component, and everything under it is namespaced under resume. So resume underscore underscore, and then I start like my CSS for this. So it makes it super super. Um, it makes it like super namespaced, so that if I start a new component, I don't have to worry about global styles like interfering with it again. And also, it gives me a syntax for styling this differently. So if I have an uh, like an alternate style for <coughs> for my resume, this, the syntax for that is to use block and then dash dash, and then you put like your alternate style name here. So say let's say this is like dark mode maybe, right? So it's resume dash dash dark mode, and this is at the block level. So that's like your like top level component. Yeah, and then for you can also like have alternate styles for all of your elements. So each each element inside of your um, <clears throat> inside of your block inside of your main component has an underscore underscore before it, and th that you only want to um, have one of, right? So you don't want more than like one double underscore. You don't want to have like profile and then underscore underscore image. It just gets too complicated. So you just want to have one of those, and then and then you can have an alternate style for any of these by just copying this. So you have your resume profile default styles, and then the extra styles you want to add on top of that or overwrite, you do resume profile dash dash, and then you say like I don't know, we'll just use dark mode again, <laughs> um, but you could say like I don't know like vertical, right vertical style if like the main one is horizontal style. Um, so it gives you an easy way to like theme different components too. Um, the other way I know you can make CSS um, more maintainable is by using an atomic CSS library like Tailwind CSS. It's a huge learning curve, but it pays off a ton. They haven't changed the API in a long time, and it gives you a lot of really nice default styles. Your design's probably going to look really nice. like just because you're using their their like default suggestions. Um, and that's at tailwindcss.com, I believe. Uh, utility, they call it utility first, but it's an atomic uh, CSS library. Um, and there's a few of these, but Tailwind CSS is definitely gonna be the one that kind of takes over the world. So as far as I can tell, um, <clears throat> and you can kind of see, you know, how they're like gonna create a pretty nice looking component here just from like, a few classes and the idea is that you're like including every single um, <clears throat> every single like CSS style like from a class so it, it does seem like a lot at first but they have like a lot of good defaults um, yeah uh, I'm definitely planning on learning this um, but for now I'm pretty comfortable with just like coding stuff from scratch. It's definitely a little faster than for me, um, but I will eventually learn Tailwind CSS. Um, this project actually could have been a good opportunity for that. Um, but I also don't like their, um, their, <laughs> their build process. Like you have to have a build process with Tailwind, otherwise, uh, 
and I, I I don't like using a build process, but like their 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 CSS file is literally like one point five megabytes, <laughs> um, but like they never encourage you to use their default CSS uh, file. You know, they they only recommend that you use like a build process that will strip out all the CSS you're not using. Um, so it usually goes down a lot, you know, to only like a hundred kilobytes or something. Um, yeah, absolutely no problem. Okay, so we've got our button reset. We've got our system font stack. We've got our mobile style, like our mobile padding around the edges. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, we've got our border box. This is super important whenever you're doing a reset. This is like the most important thing, at least for me. A border box just makes things so much easier <coughs> to work with, makes it everything more exact. Um, if anyone doesn't know what that, what board, like box sizing is, um, let me know, I can explain that real quick. Um, okay, so we've got our resume, and we're gonna go here, and we'll start filling things in. So we'll do Amy Lee, contact, so we're going to have email at email.com and website.com. Uh, com, and obviously we need to put these in two different containers. So we're going to have div class uh, contact. Um, I think we'll just say info. Um, and actually, I just realized these should probably be spans. Um, and I didn't close this div, so we're going to close that. Okay, so these would be spans, I think. I don't know how we're going to do this little line, but I think it's probably going to be a border. So we'll worry about that later. Okay, and then the description. Let's just grab this. I don't care about the font. Oh, just let me... Okay, Repli we're replacing the font? No. I <laughs> thought this won't let me care. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Where the heck, Figma? Replace fonts. Oh, okay, not available. Need to be replaced. Bring your own fonts. Enable local fonts. <laughs> what? Okay, download, yep. Figma installer. Oh, okay, interesting. So now we're gonna be working with a, um, uh, the local app, I believe, Figma. It's very funny that they like, they have you install their app in order to enable, I think that's what they did. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Like, <laughs> what did I just install? I think it was the Figma app. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Okay, what the heck is going on here? What did I just install? <laughs> uh, okay. Sure, maybe I have local fonts now. Right? You guys believers? Okay, let, can you let me edit this? Oh my god. Okay, but seriously, what did I just install? <laughs> um, okay, uh, whatever. So I guess, I, I mean, I don't have these fonts anyways, I guess. I guess that's what it's telling me. Um, okay, so we're just gonna use, oh, there's one, inter, inter, Inter is like the best font ever, you guys. If you guys are behind the 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 news in terms of um in terms of typography, Inter is is in right now. It's a variable font. It's very nicely designed. It's designed for the web and to be readable on the web. Um, if you use it, people think you're cool. I haven't used it yet, but 
like in a real website or anything, but it's on Google Fonts too, and it's totally free. Uh, so that's cool. So, yeah, I think I can just type that in. Okay, there we go, replace. Good, now we got enter. Now I can copy text. <laughs> Perfect, I'm a genius. Yeah. Looking for some advice. AV Gaz says, I'm looking for some advice. <clears throat> you're developing a Chrome app where you're pulling data from Amazon. You want there to be a box titled Sale Price Containing a Value Pulled from Amazon. The box also needs to be able, needs to be editable. What would you suggest? I've tried using jQuery, but Chrome just throws out errors. Huh. Okay, Chrome app. I've built a Chrome extension. I imagine that's kind of similar. You're pulling data from Amazon. Um, how are you pulling the data from Amazon? Um, and have you tried it like on your local machine? Like, because it could be like it's gonna if it works on your local machine and then Google's throwing errors, it's probably Google locking down. Um, what you're doing. And I think that could be one of two things. One is like Google's locking down Chrome apps in general to try to prevent you from accessing data they don't want you to or that you don't have permission to. So it might be a permissioning error where you have to enable more permissions for your Chrome app. Or it could be that Amazon is trying to lock out screen scrapers uh, from pulling data from Amazon in which case, you might want to use something like uh, Puppeteer to like load up the web, like load up Amazon in a headless browser, and then uh, grab the the tool, the the element that you're looking for through Puppeteer, and then hand it back to you through some kind of API. Um, I I think that Chrome locks down some access to the website by default. So using jQuery, I think, is hard. I think there are some workarounds, at least the last time I built a Chrome extension, where you can get access to the page and then bring it back in. But you have to like use some kind of like background window thing. That was a little weird and complicated. But I hope that kind of answers your question, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know if anyone else has uh, feed, any feedback on that? Okay, so let's see. We're going to add this section now. So we've got UX engineer Google. we got our title main and our deets and our text. Okay. Do, do, do. And now we need some icons, right? Um, so we need our settings icon and this icon, never made a Chrome extension, so you're sorry I can't help you there. Um, <clears throat> that's what Android says. So I think for this, so we could use something like uh, Fort Awesome, which is like a hosted version of Font Awesome um, that lets you just like pick certain icons that you want to use in your project that that would be kind of my like go-to for bootstrapping like a new project but i kind of want to like use like the better setup for that so there is if we go to font awesome so actually okay there's another way we could do this actually too so we could it's a headache you're basically developing tool similar to one called helium 10 very big project but you're learning at the same time. Yeah, I think um, also you might want to be aware of how much Amazon might want to stop you from doing that. Like I think they might obfuscate their front end and like might put in as much security as they possibly can to prevent you from scraping their site. I'm not sure, I've never tried to scrape Amazon, um, but I would imagine a lot of their, you know, advantage in the market is being like the place that hosts all these pages, right? So they might not want to have them be scrapable. 
So I don't know. That could be an issue. Um, yeah. There's also... Um, there are some tools that allow you to convert websites into APIs. Um, but I think the pup Puppeteer is probably the best solution for that. Um, like you could pass Puppeteer a page and then they could give you some details. Damaju, Damaju, uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, welcome to the chat. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. Um, okay, so we, we need these icons. So we could do, we could like export these as SVGs and then just import them. Um, yeah, no problem. Maybe you guys, there might be a, an easier way to do it too. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like lurk around Stack Overflow a little bit uh, or even like post a question there. Um, I think there's probably also a subreddit for like Google app developers um, like Chrome app developers. So you could check there too. Uh, I'm sure there's like some kind of support forum where people run into this problem like twice a day, you know? Um, <clears throat> probably a fairly uh, common problem. Okay, so we could export these icons as SVGs and then import them directly. I wish I knew the right way to do that, I think, you know, we could just do it as an image. I kind of just like using an icon font, but there's no real downside to having it be like an image or an SVG inline. Um, not sure. Let's look at how Font Awesome does it, because we might use this. So I think, I think I have Pro. Uh, not here. Okay, I have to hide my screen for a second because I'm gonna open up my password generator. Okay. Okay, so I have, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't show the screen yet. <laughs> uh, let's see, is there anything here? <laughs> okay, nothing private here, but I probably shouldn't show the screen. <laughs> um, I think I just got lucky there. Okay, so... I have the ability, I guess, okay, so that I can create a hosted kit. So we're going to go to start, okay, we're going to say it's a resume builder, create and use this kit, here's your code for this kit. Okay, we're gonna unhide the screen because I think this is fine to display. So we're gonna paste this here and they're telling me, add your kit's code to your project. Sure, check your kit's settings. Icons Pro, we're good. Web font, yeah, that's the easiest. Auto accessibility, enable version four compatibility. Sure, save, let's go back. Oh, geez, no, I want the instructions again. Okay, add icons. Okay, I have 8,000 icons. Find the right icon and learn how to add it to your page. Okay, and add some styles. I don't really care about styles. Okay, so find the right icon. Let's go to settings. Let's 
Okay, we'll grab this cog, I think. And start using this icon. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Oh, wow. This is such a nicely designed thing. <laughs> okay, so start using, oh, regular light. Oh, they even have the, that's cool. Jeez, these people did so much work on this. Okay, you can place it just about anywhere. Uh, <coughs> okay, yep, okay, hey, 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 so can I just use this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So inside of our settings button, let's just paste this cog and we'll refresh the page. And I get it. Wait, I don't want all the icons. Is it loading all of the icons? Okay, let's see. So font awesome. Yeah, it's loading. Everything. Yeah, arrow, alt, arrow. Okay, so this is a lot, and it's fifty-three kilobytes. But I don't need everything. I think I thought there was a way to just add the ones I want. What the heck is going on? Okay, so let's go back, start using, okay, let's see, let's go back to start. <laughs> oh no, we're back, we're back here. What the heck? Where is my project? Kits, resume builder. Okay, only Load, add it to your page. No, this is the same thing. <sighs> okay. This is why I use emojis for my MVP. Yeah. Well, this is the, to be fair to Fawn Awesome, this is the first time I've tried to do this. Um, like I use their, so they, Font Awesome actually has another service that's exactly like this called Fort Awesome. Um, and it, it lets you just upload the font you want. Huh. Okay, let's see. Font Awesome CDN only load icons or, yeah, icons you need. Huh. No, I don't think that's it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Andrew, super nice to have you. Um, I'll be on for another hour, but yeah, if you can't make it back, have a really nice uh, day, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll still be working on this resume uh, builder tomorrow, I think, too. Um, and enjoy, you said your dinner? Enjoy your dinner. See ya. Okay, CDN, do, 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 get an embed code. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So yeah, it looks like maybe we can't. Maybe they just decided Oh, help me choose. Let's see. Maybe it's the SVG one. That'll be better. Make the modified. Okay. Okay. Power transforms. Icon sizing, icon rotating. Okay, but it says nothing about size. Power transforms. Okay, well, but how do I, how do I, <laughs> no, but seriously, <laughs> why can't I just choose specific ones? Um, is this, I mean, this is really a thing? I can't check your kit settings. I already did that. Find the right icon. Yeah, I don't think I can choose specific ones. That's kind of crazy to me. A little bit, a little bit upsetting. Why do I have a kit at all if you're just serving it from a CDN? I mean, I guess just to make it so that I can't like use a pro kit, I guess, right? Huh. Um hmm. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to look into this a little bit because I don't like that I'm loading all of them. So I'm going to keep looking just for a second. Wait, so I only got a year? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. My beard is gone. Uh, Salvin. Um, really good really good to see you, Salvin. Um, do you want to hop into the Discord chat and we can talk? Or actually, no, sorry, you're, you're probably at work, right? Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm working on a resume builder. I'm trying to figure out how to load just specific icons because uh, I just need like a setting icon like this but right now it's loading all of font awesome into it which I'm a little disappointed with um, <sighs> yeah so that's what I, that's where I'm at I'm trying to build this um, page though Yeah, 
It's a, I don't know, it's not that hard to like load the whole thing in. And I don't know, I was part of their Kickstarter, so I got early access, but I don't know, it's telling me something like, here, let me just cover my screen for a second. Like I don't have, like I only have access to the CDN for a year or something. So I'm not sure about that. Mm hmm Okay, so I have access to the GitHub project. Yeah, but that's the CDN. So I have, yeah, it does go fast. But I have, um, I don't know. It says maybe I have it forever here. Like it's not giving me an end date here. add domain I don't know about this <laughs> or <laughs> yeah Yeah, I'm really not sure about this. Um, I guess I'll just try maybe to just use... Use it here, maybe? And download the latest version of Fun Awesome Pro. Okay. How do I... You, with SVG with JavaScript, with web fonts and CSS. Uh, just take me into the home page. That's weird. And the same. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, downloading and hosting Fun Awesome yourself. Okay. Okay, all solid okay cool 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 see you soon see you soon um i don't know this is like super complicated i don't want to do any of this i just want some icons you know you know what i'm saying um so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to just open up the folder and i'm going to go into the svgs solid and search for cog i'm going to grab this cog oops yeah grab this cog and i'm going to just paste it in here and i'm going to remove this this kit thing because i don't even know how long i have access to it oh my goodness uh, hey, Draklin. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the stream, Draklin. Um, okay, so we'll do. Let's see. Should we do? I think we'll just do an image in here. We'll see how this works. So we'll do image source um, cog dot svg. Okay. Image source cog dot svg. Why doesn't it work? Uh, this project is not using Remake yet, but it will be very soon. We're building out the HTML and CSS first, and once that's done, we will add Remake to it, and then it's going to be awesome. Oh, okay. So we, we do have the cog. It's just not, this image doesn't have a height or a width. The max. Okay, and the height is set to auto. Wait, that's weird. Um, awesome. I'm glad you. I'm glad you like that. So why doesn't this have? Why doesn't this cog have a height and a width? 
<laughs> what is going on? Okay, so let's uh, maybe let's delete the, these styles. I don't know if those are causing issues. I don't think so. Why doesn't this image have a hide or width? Oh, is it because it's in a button? And the button. Okay, I can kind of believe <laughs> believe that. Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. So we're gonna do button uh, with height is equal to like 100 pixels. And let's see if this makes a difference. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the button now has a width and a height. So the cog has a width and a height. Bloodluster and Lemon Juices 12, or Lemon Juices 1, 2, welcome to the stream. Okay, so now we've got our cog there. Let's, um, I guess let's put these Eh, I don't really want to clean up this directory. That's fine. We're, we're good with it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back into our uh, our downloads. So we're going to go in SVGs. We, need, we just need one more icon, you know? So let's see, what is that icon? It's this, like, upload one. Oh, no, we need these ones too. The, the layout and the delete. Okay, so let's search for... Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so column, we'll search for column. Ooh, there we go. So let's see, is this? No. Man, are we really gonna have to go through all of them? I don't wanna have to go through all of them in order to find the right one. This is like a lot of icons, you know, guys? This is <laughs> a lot of icons. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't look through all these, right? No, no. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Maybe there's. Oh wait, it's font, it's font, font smoothing. <laughs> Something to distract us. Font smoothing. Just tell me what CSS to put in, please. Yeah, I don't want to read a whole article. Not the challenge. What? There's a reason this is a bad idea. Okay. So this. I think this is the right one, <laughs> but this person seemed un unsure. Okay, so this. Wait, why is this on all elements, not just body? You know what? Whatever. We're just going to add it. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm like nervous. Okay, wait. Let's uh. Let's see. We just need one more source. Oh no! This says. Please remove. Okay. Let, oh no! This is from 2010. Um. This is from 2011. Ay ay ay, there's no like avoid CSS font smoothing. Okay, so this is anti CSS font smoothing. Uh not work for every user. Oh. Okay, I guess we won't use font smoothing. Even though I think it'll work for most people. Um, no, you know what? We're going to use font smoothing. I don't even care. I don't even care. Because, uh, well, I think it does look nicer. I think it does look nicer. And I, I think it's going to be fine. I don't think it's like a huge accessibility issue. You know, like if it was like I was... Um, you know, hiding something for some users, you know, whatever. But, like, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. Okay. Font smoothing. Done. So, yeah, what were we what were we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, try, having to go through all the font awesome uh, icons. But we don't have to, because we can just search for icons here. 
and we can search like layout and maybe they'll give us like everything no column no okay so do they have anything like what we're even looking for what if I click on this will it give me things that are like this icon no not really more editor icons okay okay this is good this is like they're giving us some some hint okay so we want like a a header area kind of thing and then like two columns below if they have it if they don't we'll just go with this two column thing let's see you know what's nice about streaming is I can just talk out loud to myself and it's not weird I talk out loud to myself all the time but like streaming I can do it and it's like it's normal so cool okay so I guess we don't have it but we can just use this. So I think we're going to use this one. OK, and we'll paste this here. OK, so um, now we need delete. So we need a trash can. Search for trash. Alt. I like it. We're good. This is the one. Okay, got it. Paste it. Okay, and now we need the upload. Uh, upload. Oh, you know what's going to not be good about this? Um, man, is that I can't change the color. Of the, well, I can change the color of the SVG. I think it will be fine. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out, right? Okay, so let's search for upload. Maybe they have something like that's like what we're looking for. Um, out of interest, why didn't you just export from uh, Figma? Um, so there's a couple reasons. So one is um, I don't know where she got her icons from. Um, and they, it could be, yeah, it could be that she's using like a paid version of another icon font. I'd prefer not to use something that I don't know where it came from, right? If it's an asset, it's not like a huge deal. Like probably it's open source or whatever. Um, and like, even if it's not, no one's going to notice. Right. But it's just kind of nice to not take an icon if you, if you don't own it. Um, the other thing, uh, which is equally important is that I want all my icons to have like a similar style and like, um, so I want to use them all from like a single icon kit or at least like match the styles. Now that's not saying that these icons don't look good. They actually look really, really good. Um, yeah. And it's a good point. I mean, I could just export these. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's tempting <laughs> to be honest, but, um, I don't know. I think just you like font awesome is a really good font. I paid for it. Uh, they, they have, you know, like good styles, right? So like, why not just use, use what I have access to. Uh, also, I also have access to another, um, library of icons called the noun project. Um, so I could get them from there, but yeah, no, you make a good point. And she is probably using open source icons. I could actually just like check with her and be like, Hey, can I download these icons? Are they open source? And she'd probably say yes. Um, but yeah. And you know what? I might do that eventually. Um, I might do that eventually. So this looks like going to the top of the page. The unfortunate thing though is that, yeah, I don't really have an icon that I like here and I do like this icon. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the noun project and this is a giant icon search uh, that has tons of icons and they're probably going to have the, uh, an icon similar to the one that she used. And I can download and use anything from here because I subscribe to a plan from, from this. It would be nice if they had a search where I could just like 
you know, put this in and get something out that looked just like it. You know, like, you know how Google has searched by image? Be nice if, the, if these people had that. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we grab this icon because I like this better than what we have. Oops. Oh, Salvin followed. Thank you, Salvin. Salvin. Oh, you followed Salvin. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. But thank you if someone followed or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, so we got this upload icon. We got the cog. Oh, you followed Salvin. Okay, good. Um, so I don't know how to... Do you guys know how to give a style to this? Oh, you followed me too. That's very nice. Um, I think it's on the path, and I think I just do fill, right? I think I just do fill. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we want this color. Yeah, you totally should solve them. Why don't you do it right after me? <laughs> and then I can uh, raid you. Um, oh, by the way, if I don't raid Solvent today, someone should remind me to raid someone else because my stream is ending in about 30 minutes. Um, so we should, yeah, definitely raid someone then. Uh, if someone wants to find someone cool, let me know and then we can raid them. Uh, does Solvent stream Python <laughs> or JavaScript TypeScript? I think you should stream uh, whatever you find the most fun. And I think that's going to be Python right now because you're working at JavaScript on, at your job, one, which automatically makes it less fun. And you're learning it, which, two, automatically makes it less fun. So I think you should try to stream Python. Um, Okay, so let's see. We've got some upload button thing. Where is our button? Okay, here we go. Because you stream during my work day. Wait, what? Oh, so like I make I make JavaScript even worse? I'm not even doing JavaScript. Um, okay, so height and width. Uh, what do we want for this? Height and width 22. We'll do 22 px and width. And boom. Okay, this is starting to look like something, right, guys? <laughs> right? Oh, wait, this gear is ugly. Why do we have this gear? Who let me use this gear? We need, we need a. Wait, and why does this show up? Okay, we need this cog. Light. I can't believe you guys let me use this this cog. What are you going to build this with after HTML and CSS? I'm I'm building it with uh, Remake. Remake, which is a framework that I'm uh, building. Um, it lets you build a web app using just HTML. So you just add some attributes to the HTML and then boom, you get a web app, just like magic. So I'm kind of, I'm like kind of using this project to show that off. Oh no, now I have to do the style again. Oh, oh, okay, got it. That makes sense. Um, okay, so do our fill again. Okay. Well, that looks a little light, but I guess it's okay. Um, oh, awesome. Thank you, uh, the Shah. Uh, you can check it out, actually, if you want, at uh, remakethewebcom And if you try it out and you get a little confused, um, I will do, like, a tutorial um, 
either on stream or we could do a call or whatever. But yeah, if you just like ask, have a few questions, I could do like a stream about it and answer them. Hmm. Oh, that's that's really good. That's nice. Okay, so let's try to get this. I'm gonna ignore you guys from now until noon so that I can get this looking kind of nice, right? I don't know. Is that <laughs> should I should I not do that? Um, you'll do something. Are oh, you gonna work on something? No, you can talk. I'm just gonna like. Well, whatever. Yeah, you do you. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got this. I guess we can add the border radius directly to this image, and then we can. <sighs> we could control the height and width of this image. But, okay, I will. Um, but, 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 uh, I don't think we want to do that because we want the image to be able to be, be like whatever size they upload it as. Oh, nice. Okay. Focus, well, focus, focus, David, then. <laughs> okay, so we got profile image. We'll say, uh, we'll copy this and then we'll put in like a container up here. Oops, I guess we didn't really need to copy it. Okay, so we've got, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so we'll do resume profile image container. Um, okay, you know what? We're gonna get down to business. I'm gonna actually <laughs> like use my old keyboard. <laughs> we're gonna put this down here. It's going to destroy my neck a little bit for the next half an hour, but that's okay. Okay. So this is going to be much better, much faster, because this is what I'm used to. Okay, so image container. So we're going to go here, search for image, copy this, and we're going to have a container. Okay. And we're going to make this a height and width of, I think, 99 pixels is fine. That's what she used. Um, oh, nice. Yes, that is really good news. And I think we're going to put a width on these of 100%. I've just seen this before, and then you just always, like, it makes videos and images responsive, I believe. Uh, if you make them with 100 and then you just control their aspect ratio, like squish or large, by putting a container around them, which I'm fine with. Okay, no, uh, obviously I actually don't know anything about what I'm doing. Uh, profile image container. Container. Section area. Oh. Okay, I size the wrong. I size the wrong thing, and I add. Added the wrong thing. We'll want a container there though too. Okay, so we want profile image container. Okay, so right here. Container. Okay, and let's also uh, while we're at it, just add this other image container. Okay. So got this. Um, okay, and container boom image boom. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know. That might not actually work. Um, I was just thinking long term that might not actually work, but that's okay for now. So we got profile image container. I think we're gonna have overflow hidden because we want to be able to a border radius on this and we don't want to put the border radius directly on the image because if we did that then I believe it would like have a different border radius depending on what the original size of the image was because we're scaling the image down so we don't want to do that okay and it looks like this is probably about five pixels why well, should be like four pixels what is it no that's five pixels okay perfect I was right once again I was right <laughs> Um, okay, so back on, is this, oh, this is not centered. So we want this resume to be centered. So we'll do margin 
zero auto, but we probably don't actually want it to be zero because we want some up here. So 86, let's just use 86 uh, P px. You know, it should just assume that it's pixels. I don't know why it doesn't assume that it's pixels. Okay, great. So that's starting to look kind of like that. Um, we are using a system font stack. I'm kind of tempted to use uh, that other one I was telling you guys, Enter, just because like I haven't used it in a project yet. And it does look kind of nice here. But let's use the, uh, the system font stack for now, and we'll see how it goes. Um, and also, I'm going to ungroup all of this, because it doesn't need to be grouped anymore. OK, so this is uh, about, what's the font size? Is this the font size? They just like us. They just like assume you're gonna know that means font size. Okay, so 50, and they don't even have like a unit next to it. <laughs> How weird. Okay, so name. Yep. So we're gonna have font size here, 50 px. Um, okay, great. And we're gonna have font weight of bold. I think bold. Yeah, bold looks good. Okay, and then our next section, we're gonna have 9696 as the color. And we have some subsections here. What are they called? Main and details. Okay, title, main, title, details. Oh wait, what? No, not there. Up. Uh, I'm using OBS because I was getting uh, really, really bad um, uh, what do you call it? Like, like lag with o OBS or sorry with uh, Streamlabs. And I don't know if that was my fault or their fault, but okay. So we'll paste this here. Boom, 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 boom. Pig can dance. Welcome to the stream. Okay, contact info. Oh, wait, save this. Okay, so we want the contact to be a bigger font. Okay, nice. So we'll do medium and font size 18 px. Font weight medium, which is usually around 500. Okay, that looks not bad. We're going to add a little border to the right. So we've got Oh wait, what is this? Info and description? What? Oh, email. Oh, wait, what? Why do I have? Oh, I just have info twice, like a weirdo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So info, and we're not gonna underline it yet. We're gonna add that as like a global style to everything that's editable on the page. So this is fine. I think we just want this to be like first child's. And then we'll add a border to the right. Uh, I always forget this. What is, is this just border right? Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? Yeah, that's totally a thing. I haven't done that in so long. Why have it? That's crazy. Uh, okay, so just I always just do border, border. I guess I do border bottom sometimes, border top, but I never do border right. Okay, cool. Um, you know what? It might actually be better to do this as a separate element. I'm not really sure. Let's see. This looks a little bit thicker. Can I do like 1.5 pixels? Do you think that's possible? Oh, it is possible. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll do padding on the right. Should this have padding in general? I think it should probably have padding in general because it's nice to kind of like make links. Um, and yeah, these should be links. Oh, and that's actually something else we should uh, reset in our global reset. Um, every time I do a, new, do a new project, I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna like, uh, use the reset I made last time, and then I never do. And then I end up creating it from scratch every time. It takes me like, I don't know, 15 minutes just to create the reset. Um, but it's kind of nice because I'm kind of like learning it, I guess. And maybe eventually it'll be automatic. 
Okay, so yeah, we unset the default styles for anchor tags of having them be underlined, which is good. Okay, so where were we? We were on contact uh, info. And I think this should actually just be called link instead, since we've now converted it to a link. So let's just do that. And now we're going to just have it have padding. So we want it to have padding on the top and the bottom, but just a little bit to make it a little bit more accessible. So we'll say like 1px on the top, <coughs> uh, maybe 4px on the side, and like 2px on the bottom. Usually you want a little bit more on the bottom. And so that looks fine, but it would be nicer if it was aligned with this. So on the contact section, let's just put a margin left of minus 4px. So it just pushes it over again. Now it's not clickable because we don't have an href on it. So let's see if we kind of get that pointer back if we just put an href hash on it. And we do, but it also styles it, which is weird because, oh no, we don't even have the color on the actual link. So we just need to move it from the parent down here and we should be good. Okay, and let's uh, add a hover style too. This is always good um, for links. And we'll do color, and I like just plugging something like this into my color tool and just uh, making it a couple of shades darker and then forgetting about it. Um, actually, maybe one darker. Gray is kind of hard because it's not super obvious what's happening. There are some like more saturated colors where it's more obvious. Okay, that looks kind of good. That's going to be actually hard to edit in the edit mode of Remake, but we'll worry about that then. <laughs> okay, so now we need a little bit more padding on the first child. Um, padding right. Let's just try one rem. That looks good. And then... Uh, Let's see, so now we need a padding left on the last one. Zombie Fu, thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, maybe see you next time. Uh, thanks, really thank you for stopping by. Okay, so padding right. Actually, you know what we want instead? We want margin right. And actually, you know, the more I think about this, <laughs> the more I think that this should be a separate element. I don't know why, but I think it just, it needs its own thing, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you do you understand what I'm saying? Probably not because I'm not being very clear, but that's okay. So we'll just we'll add this element, and we're just gonna call it profile contact separator. And then we don't gotta do all this like first child weirdness, right? With the border right or whatever. I don't like having first child stuff in general. Um, Okay, so we'll do this separator. Um, and we can just do like a width of 1.5 pixels and we'll do a background of whatever that was before, which we just deleted. What was it? This one? Okay, background color of this. And yeah, that also means that here, we need to make this a display flex. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And now the separator, okay, wait, actually, why is this closer to the left than the right? Doesn't it look like it? it looks like it's closer to the left than the right. It's not actually. And also my border, or my width, 1.5 is not working. I think it's gonna be no different than 1px. Let's test that, yep. So border 1.5px works, but width 1.5px does not work. Interesting. Oh, it might have just upgraded it to 2px because that looks kind of how it did before. Whatever, we're not going to worry about it. So it looks closer to the left than the right, but it's not actually. It's just a visual glitch. Um, but let's do a margin. We're going to do 0, and then to the right, I think we're going to do like 
six px, and then zero on the bottom, and on the left, I think we're going to do seven px, just because of that little like visual glitch. Okay, that looks good. The line might be a little thick, but I'm kind of okay with it. Let's up it uh, to eight and nine though. That looks fine for now. Okay, so next section is this. We're also going to do 18 pixels for this. So font size 18 pixels. Um, I believe, oh, we're just using black for that. Okay, I don't tend to like black. I tend to like something a little bit softer, just like a tiny bit. So we're going to open color, get a two out of there. And we're just actually going to set that on the body. So that's the default cell for everything. And I swear I'm going to use this reset for my next project as well. Uh, okay, cool. So now our black is a little bit lighter on the eyes. Can't really tell, but that's fine. Okay, and we're going to also use medium here, I believe. Where is my font weight? Medium. There it is. Okay. Is that going to be my default font? Yeah, it looks like that's the lowest font weight we're using on the page. Is medium so why don't we just grab this from here and push it all the way to the top to the body and we'll just say default font weight is going to be medium across the whole page okay that looks fine okay so we need a little bit more spacing here on the bottom of this we're gonna have 36 px which is um, is that 2.5 rem so 2 rem is 32, right? Yeah, 32. An extra 4 pixels is going to be 0.25. So it's actually 2.25 rem. So we'll say profile image container uh, after width and height. We'll say margin bottom 2.25 rem. OK, got that looks a little longer here. I think it's because of the line height. So let's actually, oh yeah, reset our line height too. Oh, and this is a really, really cool thing about CSS that I just learned the other day and I've been doing CSS for a long time. So if you set line height on a parent element like the body to like 1.5 EM, then what that's gonna do is set the line height of every element on the page to um, 16 pixels times 1.5, right? Because 16 pixels is the default font size for the body element, and then it's gonna times that by 1.5. However, here's the interesting part. If you delete the um, unit, it's, it's gonna do something totally different <laughs> and unexpected. Um, I didn't think this was any different than this, but it turns out it is. If you delete the unit, um, it actually applies 1.5 to every uh, child, like child nested element inside the body um, based on that element's font size. So instead of just a global 1.5 times 16 pixels, which is a line height of uh, what, 24 pixels, it's going to depend on what the child element's own font size is. So if their font size is 14 pixels, then the line height will be smaller. And if their font size is 30 pixels, then their line height will be bigger, which is actually exactly what you want, usually. Um, so let's try that with 1.5. Yes, <laughs> that's true. There's like all these like little secrets you kind of have to learn. Um, but once you do learn them, and it's not really like too many, um, it's kind of like a really cool thing because you can move a lot faster and just kind of know why things are happening. So I think I actually prefer 1.4. Let's see, so if we look at this, that feels readable, but it feels a little tall. Yeah, I think I prefer 1.4 for text. Although this seems, this seems pretty large between I don't know, it's, this design seems like pretty spread out in general. So we might actually want to just use 1.5 for this. Yeah, let's use 1.5. So we'll use that for the default. 
heading line height should be smaller than 1.5. So on the body, I tend to put the content uh, line height by default, but the heading con uh, the headings should always have a line height of like probably like 1.3. The taller would be okay, but you'd need the padding to get the surrounding text away from it. Um, padding to get, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, padding or margin. Also, another thing I tend to do is only use margin bottom to separate elements. I try to never use margin top unless, you know, I mean, sometimes I do. Okay, so we've got this heading. Looks like this is probably the only section we're going to get done today. We got 31 px uh, between this, so we're going to do margin bottom, uh, but we'll just do two rem <laughs> instead of like 1.99 rem. Uh, so this is going to look a little bit taller, right? So than our design. See how this seems really close together, and then here it seems really far apart. That's because of our line height. So our line height's really messing us up because see here um, how there's like space above and space below? That's because of the line height. Whereas here in our design, if I click on this, see how this element's super small? Is it common in the States to put a picture on a resume? Uh, no, it's not. But this is a resume builder web app with that's trying to show off image uploads for remake. So. We're gonna pretend like it is. Um, also, it's gonna it's look it'll look nicer, I believe. Um, but yeah, no, good point. Not super common. So, actually, the distance between this is not gonna be um, that big. It's only gonna be like maybe even one run. So we're actually we need to go down on all these. So the uh, profile. Uh, image margin bottom image container so we're just gonna we're gonna down that to one rem and then the name again I think it's just gonna be one rem so let's just do that see how that looks that looks more compact but it's still actually not as compact as this one so let's actually go down to 0.5 here and we're gonna go down to 0.5 here. Let's just try it. So that looks good on the top to me. That makes sense. Just saw it and wondered if this whole time I didn't know how US resumes worked. And I've been applying for jobs wrong down here. Well, I think images do are nice. Like if you even at like an icon, um, or like a, I don't know. I use like charts in my image uh, in my uh, resume. People are kind of rebelling against that right now, saying you you shouldn't use charts in your resume, but. I don't know. I think some anything that like differentiates your resume is good. But yeah, I think images are probably in poor taste. Like like a profile photo is probably in poor taste. Um, unless it's online. I think online it's more acceptable because you're like, you know, it's your personal resume online. You know, you could be working with anyone, right? Um, and you kind of want to like present a friendly face. Um, but yeah. Uh, so let's try point seven five for that and. On the bottom, I think that looks about right, but it needs to be a little bit closer. I hate going. Okay, actually, that looks fine. Uh, does that look okay? Actually, it looks too tall up here. We're gonna go six five for the top. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. And then the bottom, I think we're gonna go. Maybe two. Yeah, it doesn't feel right to me. Even one five. Hmm. Um, maybe we don't even need margin bottom for that. Yeah. That's kind of okay. Okay, and then after the contact, we're going to have margin bottom. And we're going to have, let's see, that's going to be about 0.5 rem, I think. Uh, could be even more. 0.75. Uh, 
Okay. Um, yeah, that kind of feels okay. Let's just do one and let's actually knock this up to having a margin bottom of 0.25. Yeah, that, that kind of feels okay. We'll fix it later. It doesn't feel perfect. And now let's add this white background to this section. So resume section, we're going to do background color FFF, and we're going to have border radius of 5px. Cool. And then um, let's go back up to here. So profile, this should have a margin bottom. And when you only use margin bottom for your spacing between elements, it makes it really easy to figure out kind of like what's going on. Um, because you'll know, oh, I just look at this element and I'm going to look at the margin bottom for that element, you know, 99% of the time. Um, okay, so this is going to be, I think, about 1.5 rem. Let's see how it looks. It looks okay. We could go to even to rem, I think, actually. Okay, that looks good. We're going to go up to 2.5. Okay. Cool. And now we need to push this in. So we need a minus mar a negative margin on the section. So we'll do margin zero minus 1.5 rem zero. Uh, and why not just like fully specify it? I kind of like fully specifying it sometimes. Okay, cool. So that pushes it out to the edges, and that will make it on mobile go right up to the edge. So that's good. That's just what we want. And I believe we have a shadow on this. Indeed, we do. Drop shadow. Drop shadow. What? <laughs> it doesn't tell me what the drop shadow is. How do I get... Does anyone know how to get into the drop shadow? Whoa, what? Okay, drop shadow. Wait, no, how do I get, how do I see? Oh, there we go. Wow, okay, that's not like sketch. So we got a 10 blur, Y for 5% black. Okay, so that's different than I'm used to looking at it as, but uh, we'll do box shadow, and I'm gonna have to, Scroll back to this. So it's 0x, it was 4y, it was 10px blur, it was uh, black with 5%, I think. So that's unlike a lot of the job shadows I use. I usually do like 0 to like maybe 8, and then like a, oh, this is a 0 0.05. And then I do a point, I usually do like a 0 0.25. So I usually do a lot darker than this, but. I think this look actually looks pretty nice. It's like subtle, like close a little bit. It's, uh, I like it. Okay, and I think that's all we've got for today. Let's go find someone. Uh, so yeah, we made it like pretty far. Um, and the nice thing about this is like once we do one section, we'll be able to copy it for the next section, and we'll be able to use most of it for the section after that. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, I think that'll be nice. Pretty simple resume builder, but I think it's going to be really easy to build with Remake, which will be awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's go find someone to, um, raid. So we'll go browse, and we're going to go into... Logic programming, science and technology. Okay, what do you guys want to learn about?
You want to learn about Godot. You want to learn about AWS and Amplify. Um, you want to learn about coding a Twitch plot. <laughs> yep. I, I gotta go to my my full time job. Python soundboard refactoring. That's cool. Freedom Dare. How about Python? You guys want to do Python? Yeah, let's do that. That's again. Okay. See, you can become so I, real I rich. Do, what, you can be real rich. I can't even do a two by two. How do I, I do a raid again? Long. I'm not fast at all. I don't own a two by two right now. Here, so real quick, deadline bet 36, and I did it in 34. Guys, I don't know how to the do two raid. seconds off. That it, it worked perfectly. It worked perfectly. I'm the lead awesome, awesome. designer See, for people, 42. Uh, a company called Care Academy. Um. How to use raids. So do I type it in my own channel or I type it in theirs? <laughs> I really don't. Starting raid. Oh, you want to raid. Okay, got it. So I type this in my in my chat, right? Bum bum bum. Okay. Raid. Bum bum bum. Okay. Raid. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Hmm. Raid. See you guys. Hmm. Uh, it's a really See fun guys. stream. Bye. Uh, it's a Okay, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, where are we at in our lives? Arjuna the Feared had a question. Let's see if we can actually pull the question in. If I go developers, down to viewer questions. Oh, Panthora. What's going developers, on? What's going developers, on, everyone? Developers, 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 developers. developers, developers. developers.